play Cora. She's not on the poster. She'd be right here. Um, who a girl who just befriends Astro when he falls to the surface of the earth. She sort of lives among the junkyards with a bunch of other kids, and uh, they basically become friends. So she's a junkyard kid, kind of like in old Fat Albert cartoons. Kind of. Um, she's more of like a like a combination of Peter Pan and Wendy. Like she really takes care of the other kids there, and they're all sort of runaways, and they have this little this little uh, group, and they're kind of each other's family. She's like the maternal character. Were you always a big fan of Astro Boy, or is this something that you just kind of found and came into it without much knowledge? About? I didn't have any knowledge of it coming into but David gave us a great education on what Astro Boy means, and to the rest of the world, pretty much, he's kind of like the Mickey Mouse. So it's exciting to be involved in a project with so much history and, and so many comic books behind it, and it's also a little bit intimidating because you hope they're happy with our interpretation of it. Well, do you, I know Americans know about Astro Boy, but they're not too familiar. And in Japan, it's huge. Are, is that going to be a different experience to go over there and try to promote the movie? Or did they get a different person to do the voice over there? No, I think it's us. I mean, I, well, I don't know. I would imagine they'd have to dub it then in Japanese so they could understand it. But um, I have no idea. I think that hopefully the premiere will be over there and... Um, that would be great to sort of give them that gift since they all came up with it and uh, um, have it in the home, you know, on home base, Astro's home base. Now, can you tell us about some of the scenes we're going to see? I mean, what are the fans going to really enjoy seeing in this version of Astro? There's a lot of action, a lot of action in this version. There's also a lot of heart, um, but the action's really cool. And Astro Boy has guns in his butt. That's pretty exciting. Machine guns in his butt, but the comfortable kind of machine guns that are in your butt, um, not the uncomfortable kind. Like Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> is there one scene in particular that like you just like saw already and they're just blown away by it yeah i um i saw the movie a couple nights ago and i got choked up at one point which is pathetic because i've already read the script and i know the movie so um to actually be that moved um that was kind of an exciting it's uh, gonna say something an animated film you yeah. get choked. it was uh it was very real and it was very touching and i did get choked up at it so we'll go to the movies and cry. So thank you so much. Not the whole time. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too.